Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Engineer Pat 52 Naughty coming to you with an AC44 C6M explanation. As you can see here, we have the Stator Cab Dash 9 number 8817. I believe this engine is still active on NS. As you can see, I caught this on NS233 a while back. Um, as you can see, these engines were built in 1995 by General Electric at their Erie plant. As you can see here, we have the standard cab. This is basically the same cab that was used on the C40-8 and has bought more of the C40-9s from General Electric. This was just a, um, I think it was a market thing. that They built those specifically for Norfolk Southern. And they even did the wide cab version um, as well. And these engines are quickly getting upgraded, you can see. The cab is pretty small. It's not wide enough for the crew. So what they're doing is they're rebuilding these engines and turning them into this. Hold on. They're turning them into these. This is the brand new AC44C6M. As you can see, this engine was rebuilt by GE. As you can see, it has the new wide cab, which meets the Federal Railroad Association uh, crash component requirements. As you can see on the engineer's side, there is an extra slope that is here to allow him to look down below the locomotive without having to get out of the seat. So basically, it's the 2017-2018 version of an AC4400. It has the wide cab with a new electrical system, new control stand, um, brand new wide cab, of course. Brand new seats, new sunshades, new windows, everything. Um, the prime mover is this is the original. Uh, the the long hood parts are original as well, and these even have the new um, um, the new tracks, the new trucks that are modified to accept the brand new AC traction motor. Um, this is going to be the new norm for Norfolk Southern because there's a lot of these Dash Nine stair cabs that they have rebuilt into these C six Ms. But these are really, really awesome looking engines, and, I really, and I'm glad to see Norfolk Southern is improving the safety of the railroad uh, for rail fans and the employees, and especially the train crews, because they're really pushing toward this new cab. So anyway, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. I hope this answers some questions about it. Uh, please check out my other videos as well. I do have a question and answers video that will be produced. Um, in about a week or so, so please check out the um, guidelines on that. If this is one of your questions, one of them has been covered, I was going to do one of these anyway for a little explanation. And SD70 AC is behind these two Gs as well. So, anyway, that concludes this screencast production of the C6 Sound Project. I'm Engineer Pat, and I will see you next time.